Everybody talking about this thing? Yeah, another successful luminosity over the weekend. Could mean another light show on Music Hall in the works for next year. WLWT News 5's Mariah Turner has more on the young event that's growing up in a hurry. All is quiet on the face of Music Hall after an unforgettable weekend of stellar lights and harmonious music. Luminosity organizers say the event in its third year is really proof that the third time is the charm. With more lights, a balloon release, new powerful pyrotechnics, and an additional performance, the estimated cost for Luminosity 2015 jumped to $1.4 million, up an extra $200,000 from last year. Although this was the first year the orchestra charged for the Luminosity performances, organizers say the event still broke even. Our goal originally was to raise $1.4 million and make the event free again. We weren't able to, to pull that off. So we raised a million dollars, so we did sell tickets to, to meet that funding gap. Ninety percent of the tickets were sold to pay for the performances, while ten percent were given away to charities. The sold-out event also featured the free Luminosity Village, a place where families could hang out before the show. It even attracted some celebrities. Mary Jane Klug snapped this photo with Emilio Estevez. Looking ahead to next year, Luminosity 2016 is not yet confirmed, but the symphony is already thinking about the possibilities. We are always committed to exploring ways to innovate and collaborate, uh, and Luminosity certainly represents the best of that for the orchestra. This year's theme, Masters and Dreamers, is a nod to the hundreds of musicians and singers that make Luminosity possible. But it's the spirit and community of Cincinnati that gives the musical masters the ability to dream about what they can come up with next. In Over the Rhine, Mariah Turner, WLWT News 5. And that luminosity dream is always changing. Here's an example of that. Organizers telling us they actually changed part of the light show after a dress rehearsal on Wednesday. Originally, red balloons were supposed to be released during the light portion of the event, but the audience couldn't see it, so they changed it so they would be released while the sun was setting.